A street thug volunteers as a test subject and is turned into a rhino themed henchman. Sound familiar? On the left is Rhino, and on the right is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Rocksteady. They're the same picture. This week we're taking a look at Marvel Legends Rhino. This numbskull from the Spider-Man the Animated Series has increased strength to go along with a thick hide permanently bonded to his skin. Yeah, what a mess. He's essentially bulletproof and his horns can penetrate steel. Less of a schemer and more of a smash and grab kind of guy. Basically what you'd get if you turn Fred Flintstone into a rhino. You. Why you? Question of the week. Based on the accent in Spider-Man the Animated Series, where is Rhino from? Articulation, bruh. There's no dumbbell joint at the head, but the neck does hinge this far up, that far down, and swivels left to right. That gap in the ab crunch does bother me, but it does crunch forward that much, nothing back, and swivels like a lazy Susan. The bone hinge at the shoulder gets you right around. There is a bicep swivel, but it does crash into the body, so you'll have to hinge it away to swivel it away now. A single joint elbow gets you about a 90 degree bend. Be aware that all the hands have stubby pegs and do come out fairly easy. The hinge is limited at the shoulder. The hands do rotate and hinge up and down. The legs kick up pretty good for a big fella. Barely kicks out. A upper thigh swivel hidden well behind that hide. A single jointed knee. No boot swivel but hinges down, up, and rocks as hard as the go sit yourself segment. Ah, go sit yourself. Based on his size alone, Rhino is never going to fit or sit in this chair. You could say that he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Speaking of rocks, when it comes to sitting on the boulder, Rhino can go sit himself. Answer of the week. Based on his accent in Spider-Man the Animated Series, where is Rhino from? Answer, Jersey. Would anyone else like to have seen James Gandolfini as Rhino in the MCU? I wish I could think of brilliant plans like that. Accessories. Does this purse go with my bra bra? Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the show and the figure, showing off the unimpressed and angry head sculpt. This big ol' rhinoceros comes with two fisted hands for smashing and two different gripping hands for holding a certain spider around the waist or leg. Oh, well, first up, you can't have a Spider-Man villain without a Spider-Man. Here's Marvel Legends Spider-Man, Pizza Spider-Man, and the exact same Spider-Man, but in black. What do you know? All this time, Spider-Man was really a robot. Neanderthal. And next up, let's compare some other rhinos with the Toy Biz Spider-Man Classics Rhino and the rhino from the Marvel Legends Spider-Man's Fearsome Foes 4-Pack. And while we're talking about rhinoceroses, here's NECA's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Rocksteady and his best buddy, Bebop. You know, money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you the services of Marvel Legends Shocker, Mysterio, and Scorpion. Think on sexy thoughts. Think on sexy thoughts. Playing around with the older rhinos, I can say with certainty that this is the best in articulation, sculpt, and any other criteria one can compare action figures. Would I have liked double jointed elbows? Sure. Would an additional dumbbell for the head to go along with the hinged neck joint been better? Absolutely. But Rhino doesn't have a neck, and a big guy like this wouldn't realistically have a big range of movement anyway. So I'm more than happy to have this be my definitive Rhino in my collection. Get ready for the Rhino's Charge! 